What's going on, YouTube fam? I'm back again. I know it's been a little while. I had to take some time off. I had to handle a couple personal things in my life. Been going on. I had to get myself right. And needless to say, I'm back. I'm going to try to start giving y'all some more content a little bit more frequently. Try not to take another break like that. Sometimes things happen, man. We have no control over. But like I said, I'm back. I'm definitely going to try to get back on this YouTube game full time. But here I am with another one. Basically, I just want to say thanks to everyone that's been viewing, commenting, liking, subscribing. Like I always say, you know, every every like counts, every view counts. So I definitely appreciate the love. I try to still check in on y'all, even though I'm not uploading every day. Try to comment back on any comments and reply to everyone who's asking about any advice. Like I always say, if you guys need to know anything, I'm not that kind of guy. I always try to respond to everyone and you know, if you need help with a part or something like that, I always try to get back to you as soon as possible. So, yeah, back to the video. Just want to touch up on something that I thought would be relevant to the channel. And that's basically on how much ammo you should keep stockpiled in your, uh, you know, your collection, basically. And the real answer to that is there's never too much ammo. Uh, I see a lot of people always saying how much you should keep. You know, never go under a certain amount of count for you know, depending on which of the calibers you have. I don't have too many different calibers in, in my collection. I got nine millimeter uh, as of right now. Uh, got a five five six two two three seven six two by thirty nine, as you can see right here. And uh, last but not least, I got twelve gauge. I got different types of various different ammos. I'm not really picky on which ammo I choose to. To buy, to be honest, I buy whatever is the cheapest. Um, the only time I really buy like good stuff is if I know I could find a good deal on it. This like not something that you come across every day. But as you can see here, I got steel case. I got some off-brand stuff that I bought at gun shows, Mag Tech. I got Salier Bailet, Fayoki. I also got Fayoki Dynamics. That's for the 12 gauge. So yeah, like. Got a bunch of different stuff here, let me see. Browning, I haven't even tested that yet. That's 200 rounds right there. Get that out of there. But yeah, that's Browning. So yeah, as you can see, I have a PMC Gold. I don't really discriminate when it comes to the ammo brands. Um, PMC again, Winchester, Federal, Dragon's Breath. Like I said, I buy whatever I could get my hands on, whatever's cheap. Um, and that goes for any caliber. I hear a lot of people talking about they want to use hollow points and, you know, they call it certain brands range aim ammo and stuff like that. I mean, to be honest, yeah, range ammo, I can understand, you know, FMJs. But needless to say, I mean, if it push come to shove and shares the fan and FMJs, all you got in your collection and your stockpile, then that's going to be better than no ammo. I can guarantee you that because I've tested both and at the end of the day, they both do the same thing. If you get shot with a jacket at hollow point or full metal jacket, it's still going to hurt. It's still going to do damage. It can still kill you. So that's just something that I think I should have touched up on because I hear a lot of people talking about that and being biased towards certain ammo brands. Like I said, you can see here, I got the good stuff. I got the bad stuff. I got, you know, the stuff that's considered bad, at least from... A lot of people that I see on YouTube talking about certain ammo that they wouldn't use, steel case for one. I mean, like I said, if your gun can't run all types of different ammo, then what do you need it for? You don't want to only feed it the good stuff. You want to put it to the torture test, um, whether it be an AR. And Glocks are known for, I've shot steel case, aluminum brass. Um, I put all types of different ammo through this gun and it's never failed me. So, like I said, if you can't put various different types of ammo through your gun then you don't really need it then it's good for nothing because when shit hits the fan who knows what's going to be available i mean you see what things that are happening now you know with ammo being limited you know quantity and certain ammo brands not being available prices going up and down it's like a bid you know it's like a stock market so that's why i say i buy what i can when i can you know you know everybody doesn't have money everybody's not rich you know you can't just go and buy as you please so i me personally i work every day i got a nine to nine so 
I buy ammo when I can. You know, I, I mean, I don't go to the range as much as I, I like to for that exact reason because, you know, same way we use ammo at the range, you know, we need ammo for our stockpile too for when we home. You don't only buy ammo for the range, you buy ammo to carry. If you carry a gun, home defense, whether it be any of those things, you always got to have ammo, ammo handy. So that's the reason why I say that, you know, you can never have too much ammo. You always got to buy when you can. Me personally, I buy online. Uh, I look for gun shows. Uh, most most recently now, I've been only going to gun shows to buy ammo because it's a little cheaper than online. I don't go to gun stores because they're way overpriced. Like a box of these 9 millimeters will probably be like 50 bucks, 40 bucks in the store just because you're using them for the range. They they upcharge you a lot. A lot from where, I, where I'm from, there's a lot of upcharges on ammo when you're going to the range or if you're buying from gun stores. So I can get this same box online for 13 bucks, 14 bucks. So, you know, just little things like that is why I don't buy in a gun store. I strictly only buy online or I go to the gun the gun shows. I look for a lot of local gun shows. I live in PA, so we get the gun show like five or six times a year. So in any one of those times, you always can find ammo, like any caliber, the rarest caliber you can look for. I mean, you'll be able to find anything there. Uh, yeah, so that's just what I think about that. Basically, I just feel like you should buy what you can when you can and always keep a good amount. I'm not going to tell you to you know, some guys will tell you keep a thousand rounds per caliber. For some people, that might not be realistic. I personally don't keep that much. I just try my best to just always re up and have a good amount. I mean, as long as you have a good amount around laying around in your stockpile, you're pretty much good. I mean, like I said, you can never have too much. So it's really whatever makes you feel comfortable. If you feel like a thousand rounds is good enough for you, then that'd be for you. But the way I go off of it is basically. Buy what you can when you can. That's my motive. But I always try to keep a good... Needless to say, I always try to keep a good stockpile for each caliber. I try to keep a minimum of like five to 800 rounds per caliber just because I shoot frequently. I haven't had a time to go to the range lately. That's why I haven't been able to give you guys any range videos. But that is coming soon. I'm definitely going to be shooting some new videos and um, giving you guys some new content. And with that being said... I'm going to end the video here. Just want to say thanks to all my supporters, my subscribers uh, for liking, commenting, still, you know, being, you know, resp uh, commenting and, and, you know, just basically showing love to the channel. Um, I really appreciate it. I'm always trying to get back and interact with y'all um, as much as I can. And yeah, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and try to get these videos moving again. I'm out.